ex-Sony Liverpool employees have come together to form Sawfly Studios, and this is their first game. So what do you do with all that wipeout development experience? You make a game about bathroom etiquette. Naturally. To give you quick insight on what's going on here, Men's Room Mayhem is a lot like Diner Dash. You get a top-down view of a restroom and help men get their business done. Patrons will walk in and await direction from you. You draw them to an open stall or urinal and wait for them to finish. Once done, you draw them to a sink for bonus points, and then you slide them out to the exit. But of course it isn't that simple. Men's Room Mayhem has a lot of mayhem. As you reach higher waves, patrons will come in more frequently, and you can't let them touch each other, otherwise they'll break into a fight and fill your mayhem meter. Once you have six mistakes in one wave, it's game over. It really is so simple to get into, but Men's Room Mayhem has other factors to consider in the heat of bowel movements. Some patrons need to go badly. They'll move much faster than others, and also have a countdown to them. If you can't get a patron to the urinal in time, they'll make on the floor. This will also add to your mayhem meter. You'll also have to consider that some patrons need to go boom boom. They'll need a stall, so you might not want to waste all your stalls on number oneers. You really have to think ahead. Since most of the patrons move rather slowly, you'll be faced with situations where eight or more patrons are on screen at once. This is where it really becomes a delightfully fun challenge. Consider your urinal and stall layouts, figure out who's going where, or how long it's going to take them, where you can snag the hand wash bonus. It's not easy. Men's Room Mayhem has seven restrooms to play, all of which feature very different layouts and specific patrons. For example, the saloon has a drunk guy who can't control his walking speed, and the nightclub is a unisex restroom where women make the guys stand still. There's the regular waves mode you can play, or you can play blitz mode, which gives you a time limit for the best possible score. The only real thing you can actually hunt for in the game is objectives, but you only need about half of them to unlock all the levels. Not only that, but they're not very challenging or creative. It's usually just do this action X amount of times, and it increases that number after you complete them once. So if you're looking for things to hunt and unlock, that won't be here. Men's Room Mayhem is actually pretty damn awesome. The idea is hilarious, there's no doubt about it. And if you like Diner Dash, you'll love this. One thing I generally don't like to mention in my reviews is price, since that's always subject to change, but Men's Room Mayhem is dirt cheap. Even if you're iffy on the game, it's worth the small investment to give it a go. Go to the bathroom, that is. <laughs> uh, this is a great game.